What is up guys, Dane again. Today I'm just going to be doing a short little video on a really nifty little hack to do in Shopify. It's adding in your store's phone number. Now, if you have a high ticket dropshipping store, this is an absolute must. And if you have a low ticket dropshipping store, it's a good idea as well. So let's go ahead and dive in. So the question you're probably wondering is, Dane, why do we need to put our phone number in a Shopify store? I don't want to talk to customers. Well, that's okay, but think of it this way. If one simple phone call to answer a real quick question is all it takes to get a customer to buy something from you, maybe it's just a quick clarification on the size, on the weight, shipping times, uh, the location of the item, even, I mean, I, I even have really weird questions like just like, uh, like how I feel about the product. How I feel about the product, like, it's great. Of course it's great. Uh, I'll give you a discount as well. Boom, made a sale. So when you have a high ticket dropshipping store, this is an absolute must. Because I know in one of my other videos, I'll put it up right here, uh, especially in a high, low, low ticket dropshipping store, the price of the item is a lot of money. People are really gonna be thinking about what they're going to buy. More than likely, they're gonna have a couple of questions. Um, as I mentioned, say if it's going to fit in a certain area like i know kegerators a lot of people are going to be redesigning uh, maybe their kitchen and they want to make sure it fits they're going to call and ask me that question i usually have a, a small little cheat sheet of uh, the quick answers for my top sellers that people typically call about because um, that way i can just answer them as soon as i answer them guess what sure enough in a couple of minutes i get a little ding from my phone saying congratulations john doe bought this kegerator and it's great it works so what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to put your company's phone number both in the header section of your Shopify store and also on the product page. It is going to require you going into the back end, into the code part of it, injecting a bit of code. But you know what? It's much better that, that you do that instead of not. Because you want to make sure you keep, make this as easy as possible for people to get their questions answered. And honestly, don't expect too many calls. Uh, like maybe if you have a whole bunch of calls coming in, uh, because you're doing a lot of money in advertising, maybe consider having a VA just pick up the phone because at that point, you can probably go ahead and do so. But let's go ahead and jump to my computer and let me show you the exact code to put in. Um, I'll also put it somewhere down in the middle so you can just kind of get the uh, naked code itself just so you're not having to worry about typing in stuff like that. And let's go ahead and do it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and put our email addresses and our phone numbers both on our product page and also on the header section of our website. Just to reiterate what we're trying to do, here's the home page of my website and as you can tell, um, besides having the messenger button be in the way, I have my phone number right here, uh, date, uh, time to contact us, and also our email. Notice that, the, notice that uh, the email right here is clickable. If I click that, it actually opens up uh, our contact us page on my store's e-commerce website so makes it really nice and easy on my product page besides having it up there I also have our contact information right down here so say if someone's looking at this kegerator they want to check it out they have some questions besides message us they also do have a way to give us a quick call and this one actually is clickable so if they're on mobile it will uh, launch uh, their phone call uh, you know the phone call application on their phone so let me go ahead and show you how to do it just a quick heads up I am on the debut theme and you will be having to edit some code these are the two that you need the header dot liquid and the product template dot liquid let's start with the header now I am NOT a CSS person I don't know how to do this I just know how to put stuff together what I did is I looked very carefully to see what everything here said uh, for example cart um, layout cart items, navigation toggle, hamburger icon. I read that and I kind of understood what that meant. If you go up here, it actually pertains to these little guys right up here. You can't really see it because I have this stupid Shopify thing in the way, but let's open up this page. But for example, you can see I'm right here. Search, um, little add to cart button. It pretty much told me what I needed to know is that um, this information was over here and I want my contact information to be right behind it. So 
what I did is I searched down and I went to where I could see, okay, like here's where the header cart section is. And actually here is the text that I have. I went below this deviation. So if you're on debut, it's after line 256, but just make sure and check it out for yourself. And it's before um, the slash n header. This means this is the very end of whatever I can put in the header. If it goes down here, it's not gonna be in the header. What I did is um, I took this text, I found it online, and actually I'm gonna have a link below um, so you can go ahead and just you know copy it for yourself and put your own information in there. What I did is I uh, went ahead and just pretty much put it, uh, pasted it in here. Let me break this down for you real quick. For example, um, I have the font size right here at 26. Um, I don't remember what that is to be honest with you. Uh, for example, questions, call us at the phone number. Um, you know, font style 26 again for the uh, for uh, my store's hours, and of course right here uh, a reference link. So if a person clicks on this, it takes them to that page. So that pretty much explains what is going on up here. So um, this is for the debut theme. I don't know if you use another one, but this will probably work the same. Let's jump over to our product section. Now when it comes to our product section, I kind of did the same thing. Here's the code that I added in, by the way. Uh, but let's take a look at our product. What I did is I was looking to see where the code for the add to cart button was because I want my contact information along with this image, this little freebie that I give away to be right where people are going to see it because when you click through on a Google ad to this product, you're going to see add to cart, you're going to see the free gift, the phone number, you're going to see all that in one go. So what I did is I, of course, just read down and saw where it was, you know, product cart, add to cart, where all the section of the button was, and I added in these pieces of code. Now this one right here, this is actually for that image that I had right there. Um, what I did is I created a invisible page and just simply made this image in Photoshop, uploaded it there, and um, then just simply copied the image's URL, put it in here with the image SRC. I'm a little bit older, I'm 30, and I remember when MySpace came out, and this is exactly what you do for MySpace. Um, and of course, you know, I also modified the width and the height of the image so it looked uh, nice and good. And directly below that, that's also where I have, you know, questions, call, phone number right here. Um, since I have the uh, reference link right there, that means it is clickable and it will launch the phone app. So along with the uh, other one in the header section, I'll go ahead and have this code into a doc. Uh, because for some reason, YouTube won't let you put anything that has, you know, CSS looking stuff in the description. I'll make sure you guys can go ahead and use this for your own stores, and I hope this helps out. Alright guys, as you can tell, it's not that hard to actually add in some code into Shopify. I actually made this video because one thing I realized talking with one of my mentors in high ticket dropshipping is the fact that, you know, a lot of people don't know how to do this stuff, but it's really simple. It just seems really difficult, so I'm probably going to do a couple more videos like that. If there's more of these super technical things you'd like me to cover, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Now while you're down there, go ahead and uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a couple more of these Shopify dropshipping videos on the way, so I want to make sure I can educate you as much as possible. And heck, feel free to even join my Facebook group where I deal more with the integration side of say Zapier, Infusionsoft, other email service providers, and of course some Shopify stuff too. Um, but if you like, so I will see you guys next time.